big event here at the National Natural Sciences Museum. In fact, so many people turned out, they ran out of eclipse glasses. A long traffic backup at the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science Monday morning, where a thousand people, both young and young at heart, turned out for a huge eclipse watch party. It's pretty cool. It looks like a half leaf eating moon pie. When the cloud moves across, you can still see it very well, but you can see it through the cloud. It looks like a moon and it's orange. It's the moon. So many people came out. The museum quickly sold out of its 500 glasses for the event. That forced them to set up viewing stations on the grounds so that everybody got a chance to safely see this once in a generation event. I don't blame them. No wonder you had to be here. Everybody wants to see it. Now the sun is 432,000 miles in diameter. The earth is about 4,000 miles in diameter. Biologist George Phillips brought out a bird watcher's spotting scope to reflect the eclipse onto cardboard. If it looks like the sun is moving across the horizon, which it is from our perspective, but the Earth is rotating very fast, so we keep having to remove the scope to view the image. Many kids skipped school so they could see the eclipse. We wanted them to have an experience of a lifetime. What do, what do you think about this? I'm not sure. You skipping school today for this? I'm homeschooled. One woman used her camera to capture unique images of the eclipse reflected through trees onto the sidewalk. It's much more art worthy. <laughs> so we're experiencing the last moments of the eclipse here in the metro. These folks at the sharing station. What do you guys think of what you saw? Oh, I love it. I'm very glad we came. Yeah, and they're really glad to get checked out of school. <laughs> So much excitement out here at the National Science, Natural Science Museum. Some folks are already anticipating the next total solar eclipse. That's about seven years from now.